Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Mayra and I'm studying in teaching and learning English major. In this video, I'm going to talk about the natural approach, teaching listening and listening comprehension. The natural approach was created by Creation and Terry. In this approach, it is important the use of language in communicative situations because it views communication as the main function of language. You have to consider main assumptions of this approach. First, students' work should be centered on meaningful communication rather than on form. There must be a good classroom atmosphere. Students should be able to make the meaning clear but not necessarily be accurate in all details of grammar. Content selection should aim to create a low affective filter. Students with motivation, self-confidence, and low classroom anxiety generally do better and are more conducive to second language acquisition. In natural approach, the materials used in the classroom have to promote comprehension and communication. They will vary according to the needs and interests of students. Visual aids are essential because they facilitate the learning of vocabulary. The approach includes techniques from other methods, for example, common-based activities from total physical response, the use of mime, gesture, and context from the direct method, and group work activities using communicative language teaching. The focus in the classroom should be on receptive skills, which are listening and reading. In a listening class, it is important to activate the student's previous knowledge, which consider mental representations of your experience that help you understand new experiences. So it helps the students organize their learning by thinking about the purposes for listening. In listening activities, it is important the integration of real world cultural information. For example, for some of you, it's very motivating to hear about different cultures and to find words to describe your own culture in English, right? In another point, Teachers can build skills by asking students to focus on the reason for listening. The reasons for listening are listening for main ideas. The listener wants to get a general idea of what is being said. The second is listening for details. The student should need to understand one detail of the conversation. And finally, listening to make inferences. Speakers do not always say exactly what they mean. Listeners have to listen between the lines which refers to understand something that's not said directly. There are two different strategies for listening, top-down and bottom-up. First, top-down means using prior knowledge and experiences, knowing about topics and situations which helps to understand. In bottom-up, you use the information you have about sounds, word meanings, and discourse markers to construct your understanding of what you hear one step at a time. Listening involves understanding all kinds of reductions of sounds, false starts, and hesitations, for what listening comprehension is very important. In this, the sounds must be recognized. It implies distinguished phonemes, which are the smallest units of the language. When you are listening, you must activate the mental process that allows you to understand. Listening involves aspects such as intonation, rhyme, and volume. In the oral message, there are grammatical forms, repetitions, pauses, or redundancies, so you as listener must make sense of the message. Listening exercises are effective if they are structured around a task. For example, a task is called short response listening. In this, in base of short dialogues, students have to provide short answers. Another exercise is listening with longer answers. Students analyze what they hear. An example is answering questions. Listening comprehension activities have three stages, which are pre-listening. Here, students listen a little introduction to the text. In during the listening, students listen to understand the message and determine the main idea. And in after the listening, students give their opinions about the text they heard, doing activities like scripts, interviews, or discussions. Finally, Every listening activity must have a purpose in order to be effective. Students will know what they will listen and how to react to it. And the selection of content how to be according to the student's level. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.